Today we're going to learn how to put lettering around a design. I've already got a design in my software. This is the Heart and Doves design from my website, available from my website. And in the projects page there's a picture of a wedding pillow which incorporates this design and um, some, letter, some names. And we're going to show you how to do that today. And first of all, we're going to select a font that we want to use for the lettering. And I find that going to the Help menu and going down to the on-screen manual and then going down to Appendices, Glossary and Index, the drop-down there, and then click on Alphabet Samples and you can page down to find the different fonts that are in the software and this is a good way to look at them because it shows you the font stitched out and it also gives you some notes and you can just page through till you find a font you like. I like anniversary for this design so I'm going to page back to they're in alphabetical order so here's anniversary and you also get some notes on this page. Anniversary is a stylish script with fine curves and flourishes. It is popular for personalising garments. Use extra pull compensation at smaller sizes. And down here we have the size range that that stitches out best in. So the recommended letter height is 13 millimetres to 75 millimetres. If you stay within that range, you will get a good stitch out. Once you've decided on your font you can close that um, window and to add the lettering just select your lettering button which is the letter A on your toolbox by left clicking and left click on your screen roughly where you want the lettering to go and we, then you can just type in what you want to say. Once you've done that, just hit the enter button and you can see down the bottom here it tells you what to do, enter text. And you have the lettering. Now the software defaults to the London font uh, and to change it to the font you want, just right click on the lettering and your object properties box opens. Here's the font, London. We want to change that. So we click on the drop down menu and scroll up till we find anniversary. Left click on that. We can choose the height of the lettering here, and I'm going to change that to 17 for this design. And also, we can choose whether we want it on a straight line or an arc or we want to decide what sort of line or we want it vertical. I'm going to choose the arc. So we use this one here where it's going to arc over the top. Left click on that and you'll find that it automatically centre justifies for you. If you click on apply you can see what will happen there. Now we've got a nice font but I think the arch is far too steep for this design. So to change that, we can change the baseline radius of the arc. And the bigger the number, the flatter the arc. So I'm going to increase that to 65 and apply that. If we move that out of the way, you can see that's a nice arch there. So I'm going to go OK, left click on OK, and the object properties box disappears. Now these aren't lined up very well, so I'm just going to move th this design by dragging it a little bit higher out of the way so it's not touching the other one. And this part of the design, I just want to make sure that's grouped together so that when we move it, this stays together as one. So to do that, left click on your polygon select, which is your little star, and 
left click around the part of the design you want to select. This makes sure you select all the objects that you want to select at once. When you've clicked around, hit enter and they're all selected. If you come down to the bottom of your screen, you'll find a group button on the far left. Left click on that. Now that group of objects is grouped together so that if I move it, it will move as one. Now I want to make sure they're center aligned. So if I hold my, down my shift key and select Simone and Damien, now they're all selected. And if we come down to the bottom of the screen again and we go along, we can find one called Align Centers. Left click on that and they're beautifully lined up now. Now left click off the design to deselect it and you can then add your lettering around the bottom. So once again select your lettering button, left click roughly where you want the lettering to go and type in what you want and I'm going to put the date of their wedding whoops I'm not the best typist in the world now we're going to enter that so that the lettering is in stitches now and once again right click to open your object properties box select the anniversary font select the size to 17 to match the other lettering and we're going to put it on the bottom of an arc this time so we'll select this one and I'll make the radius the same 65. Click apply to make sure that that's going to be what you want and then OK. Now I want to line this up with the rest of the design so I'm going to hold down my shift key select this part of the design which is grouped with this one because when we center aligned it it grouped together and just click on your center align once more and now the whole design is beautifully lined up. And there you have it.